My name is Katja Wok. I am a PhD candidate with the College of Marine and Earth Studies at the University of Delaware, and I work with the Global Forum Secretariat. Recognizing the emerging threats of climate change, these urgent and emerging threats, and the inextricable link between the climate and the atmosphere, the Global Forum put together a working group on climate, oceans, and security in 2007 to begin to think about how we can address these issues. So we, give it, we began to think about the issues that should be considered and what should be the major foci of our group, specifically considering our position as ocean and coastal managers and experts. In our resulting policy brief, we begin to address these issues. We attempt to identify appropriate uh, policy responses to the scientific findings, specifically those found within the IPCC report in 2007, and other scientific findings as well, about the effects and the differential impacts that will occur because of climate change on different regions of the world, including Asia, Africa, Europe, Australia and New Zealand, Latin America, the polar regions, and especially small island developing states, which, as the IPCC report shows, are particularly vulnerable to climate change. We address the climate divide as well, whereby the poorest people on Earth are anticipated to be the worst hit by the effects of climate change. And we also try to encourage international commitments and funding mechanisms to respond to these differential impacts on different regions and on different peoples of the world. We also try to attempt to link the effects of climate change to human health and to security issues. The group has been looking into a wide range of adaptation efforts, including how to mainstream and integrate these adaptation efforts into our decision-making processes. So we're looking at how can we integrate adaptation into such things as economic development and also planning and, of course, environmental protection. The working group has begun to explore global ocean changes, what climate change means for the oceans, including ocean warming, ocean acidification, and how can we address these issues? What are the policy implications of ocean warming, for example? Finally, the working group has begun to investigate how we as a global community can properly mitigate our efforts that use or rely on the ocean. So we're looking at alternative energy in the ocean, including offshore wind power, tidal power, and the like. And we're looking at deep ocean carbon sequestration, which is a bit of a contentious issue at this point. Do we know enough about deep ocean carbon sequestration to sustainably implement this technology? So overall, the Working Group on Climate, Oceans, and Security is ultimately considering how we can motivate the global community at all levels, government, academia, intergovernmental organizations, non-governmental organizations, and the public, motivate them all to act. We do see this issue as enabling us to recognize and embrace the moral authority that ocean and coastal managers have as the global community at the forefront of the climate challenge.